I mean, when you talk about these guys, yeah, we're talking yeah. about unicorn genetics, I, right? I agree. And then some people, they don't ever have to play that card and they're a pro and they're amazing. Or you get mm -hmm. some people that are like a Barry Bonds who seems like it appeared that Shout he was- Shout out to Barry Bonds. He was our- favorite baseball. Oh, <laughs> fucking unbelievable. Man, baseball was so much better with Stuart. Oh, man. Yes. Sorry. He was, way better. He way was better. Already 90s the, all day. Oh, it was sick. <laughs> he was already on his way to the Hall of Fame yep. mm -hmm. and it appeared that he took something halfway through his career. Yeah to boost it a little bit yep. and he was already fucking awesome. So yep. people that think it's going to turn you into Superman, uh, you already have to have That's works. a really good point. Yeah. That's a really good point. And T and I have talked about this a lot because people ask us for advice on this. And I think that the problem with the Gen Z and even our generation, uh, we, Instagram and, and social has kind of convinced younger people that like, especially because, okay, let's face it. The... Instagram mentorship or like a coaching business is huge, right? Mm -hmm. And the whole idea about social media um, from the influencer perspective in the fitness space is you can do it if I did it. You can be just like me. That's not that. And that's dangerous, man. That's a dangerous mindset. And I'll give Larry this. <laughs> Can't believe him. I'm going to give Larry this. <laughs> He's never said that. He literally came out of the gate and said, I'm a freak. Mm -hmm. I'm a freak. I know I'm a freak. I started to steroid this early because I saw that I was a freak. Yeah. And I think other people around him told him, you've got crazy potential, right? Yeah. I mean, we're talking about a kid, literally a kid. When he came up here to do the podcast with the boys, my, my boys, mm -hmm. uh, he was the size of my husband who was in his 30s already. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. And lifting with those guys who had been lifting. These are guys that played D1 football, Steve yeah. Gentile. They, they're guys that that have been lifting. In it's like the, six or seven guys in a row just deadlifted 765. Seven, 800, like was benching five, right? Yeah. Could you pull that shit up, please? Because that, that was a wild picture with Steve, Larry, T, who Stan. else? Stan. Fuck. What that, a day. I think Jesus I took Christ. that picture. What a yeah, time I'm to be sure alive. You, fuck, right? I love those days it. of powerlifting. Yeah. That's so fun. But, I'll but just so, find a video. But Hold he on. never came out and said, uh, to my knowledge at least. Well, he, he didn't used to talk. Right, I Larry know. didn't used to say anything, which I, I think is kind of cool. And then now that when I see him speak now, you sent me that video the other day. I was like, fuck, man, he's so well spoken. I'm like, this is awesome. Well, he's grown up. Yeah. He's literally grown up in front of the camera, in right. front of yeah. YouTube, in front of whatever. But anyway, he's one of those people that's just honest. He's right. like, this is who I am. This is my genetics. Like, well, like you and Sima, you have amazing genetics. You've always been lean. I've known you for years. Mm -hmm. And you tell people like, it's yeah, I train hard and I eat well. Oh, look at him. Look at the baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. So your baby. <laughs> I remember him and Steve. They just had so much fun. Massive. Him and Steve didn't Just feel. massive. Those okay, guys are no. built like upside down Doritos. Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Upside down Doritos. It's crazy. Look at Larry. Look at him. He's a kid. Oh, man. Look at that. Wow. No technique, just all go. <laughs> just you ripping know? the weight off the ground. Just brute. Look at him. Oh, it's, he's giving him a little dap. Yeah, I remember Stan. Uh, <laughs> I remember Stan went and lifted with Larry Wheels in like New York City because Stan went and did it. So oh my fat, God. Mark. For it. Oh my okay. God. Wow. You're so fucking fat. Where does he go there? Hey, the arms are big at least. <laughs> Dude. Stan looks it's, like a fucking just action figure. Like, yeah, his arms are that's fucking. That's weird. That's just wild, bro. He looks yeah. like he just came off the wall, that big old mural, <laughs> yeah. and he just yeah. went and deadlifted. <laughs> oh, yeah, that mural. Yeah, that was sick. Yeah, because this is the old super training. Yeah. yeah. Stan oh. can do, still do some of this stuff. You know, Phil Heath is like that. Mr. Olympia, Phil oh, yeah. Heath. He's just he, bubbly. He's, he's bubbly. He's yeah. always been. He played basketball. The guy mm -hmm. is a is an, a Mr. Olympia. He can dunk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, he's just a freak of nature. He really is a mutant. Um, so there's some people that are just like that. I I would say T is probably a mix of both. He's got great genetics, but he did work a lot harder than I think even Larry had to. He started out natural bodybuilding in a natural federation. And he was probably big as fuck naturally. He, yeah. I mean, I wonder. He got was big. He? he got big. Okay. So he graduated high school 180. Mm. By his summer of sophomore year when his parents picked him up from the airport here in NorCal. Steve's a genetic fucking He was too. Look at this 290. Guy. Damn. He gained 110 pounds. Holy That's Jesus. Nigeria for you, baby. Yeah. He's Nigerian, right? Yeah. yeah. He's Yoruba. Dude, and what about Steve? Uh, Steve is a freak. He can jump. He he's can a sprint. freak. Yeah. He's a real mutant, Now, too. Steve, too, he's got the skinny jeans, but yeah. he worked hard mm -hmm. to get that mm -hmm. big. Yeah. He worked hard. And he's just, you know what he looked like in college? A fitness model. <laughs> Chiseled jaw. Yeah. Like, 
just freaks. I They're remember all I went freaks. to Barbell Brigade and he was like working out in jeans. I'm like, well, who the fuck is this guy? And he didn't even power lift at that time. <laughs> I was yeah, like, he you was should like a- power lift. I'm like, what are you doing? <laughs> he didn't power lift very well when he, I met him. <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't know what he was doing. Well, he had a really hard time squatting. Yes. He had a really Shout hard out time to squatting. Steve, though. I hope he's doing well and but, healthy. Yeah, he's a but, fucking animal. Yeah, some people are freaks. I was not. I was a late bloomer. I had, to, like you said, I had average genetics, mm-hmm. middle of the road genetics. And I, th- I honestly, I think sub. God, look at that face. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't be like, ah, so, you, you had, de- yeah, they were good. Decent. They were good. <laughs> Cause well, for you strength. start lifting for strength, for strength, you got strength. Good you, for strength, but uh, aesthetics, that's no good. Way, uh, well, if we're talking aesthetics and all yeah. that, you I mean, still that look is, great. Don't that get is me wrong. like, that's pure hard work. Yeah. That's pure hard. You work. also have some good genetics, uh, factoring in there. The fact that you said you didn't really play sports, right? Never. I so that's pretty awesome. Cigarettes in PE class. <laughs> that's pretty awesome. You, did? you didn't have like how a, disgusting. Yeah. Oh damn! Yeah. That's pretty awesome. You didn't have like a physical background. Then when you went to do something physically, you were good at it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. I I mean, I was always active. Like mm-hmm. I used when I lived in Oakland, I was like one of those chicks that rode like the single speed bikes and like no brakes, and I like ride in the city. So I had mm-hmm. huge calves, like huge <laughs> calves, huge quads, yeah. and people would always mention it, but I didn't. I never, you know, I never paid attention to stuff like that. Mm. I just wanted to be cute. I didn't want to like, I wasn't worried about the way I look. But yeah, I think I have, su- I mean, when you talk about these guys, yeah, we're talking yeah. about unicorn genetics, I, I right? Agree. I Same agree. with you and Seema, I think unicorn genetics. Our project family has a go. And now, as you guys know, we have been talking about cold therapy for a while. Mark, Andrew, and myself, we all use cold plunge XLs since we're pretty big. Mm-hmm. But the cold plunge is amazing. And there are a lot of cold therapy tools out there. Obviously, you can use your shower. But the amazing thing about the cold plunge is number one, it doesn't take up much space in your home or your backyard. And number two, you don't need to change your water, unlike other cold therapy devices, for six months to a year. It filters itself. Let's not even talk about all the benefits of cold plunging, like the dopamine release, how good you feel after doing it, and just the cascade of hormones that happens after you get in some really cold water. It's crazy, and we love it. So, Andrew, how can they get it? Absolutely. You guys got to head over to thecoldplunge.com, and at checkout, enter promo code POWERPROJECT to save $150 off your very own cold plunge. Again, thecoldplunge.com links to them down in the description as well as the podcast show notes and I think it's important that you're honest about that Mm. like I've never seen you in the years I've known you you've never like buy my program no it's gonna make you look just like me no it's not but that's the thing like you 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 just said it that people need to manage their expectations because like a lot of people start lifting late right if you start lifting in your 20s and you see somebody like okay larry does have great genetics but larry's also been somebody who's been active since he was 16 yeah or something like that yeah yeah, or younger yeah Yeah. or younger like he's been doing this shit for a while a lot of these people have been doing this stuff for a long time yeah so it's like you need if you're someone who's paying attention to this stuff you can try to get your best physique possible, but you can't be like, I want to start doing this so I can look like Amanda Bingo. or look like Larry or whatever. Like, That's no. what's wrong with the internet. Like, I yeah. wish we would just stop comparing each other. It's so hard, but it's human nature. And I know people have no control over it, really. Yeah. But if you have a little more self-control over your mindset, you can have a much better experience with fitness. Yes. Such a better experience with fitness. Focus on what's in front of you instead of what's around you. Because you're missing the fact that you might have lost 50 pounds, gained 10 pounds of muscle, got a bunch of PRs, because you're looking at me or somebody else and, and you're saying you're not good enough. Mm-hmm. And that's bullshit. Your loss, your 50-pound weight loss, your muscle gain... That's a huge thing. You should be proud of yourself. And I think we have this pressure. It's like a pressure cooker of the internet making young, especially, well, no, I think young women and men feel like they need to be better than someone else to even put it online. Oh, yeah. Right? And that creates these ridiculous expectations about what they can and can't do. I have guys that come to me that are in their mid to late 20s already and are noodles, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, Shout out to the noodles. You guys are healthy. It's fine. Um, Thanks. <laughs> as you call them noodles. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with being thin. Hey. You, hey. Trust me, you don't see a bunch of big people in their, like 80 year olds, okay? That's true. You don't. You, you probably live I think I heard Chad Wesley Smith say that. You don't see 400 pound 80 year olds. It just doesn't happen. We might in Maybe this next generation. Like pounds, Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, Chad. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad now. Chad walked up to me at the uh, CrossFit Games and he was just so sweaty. Oh. And he's in a, <laughs> He's in a red tank. and sweaty. He's in a tank top. He's Were bright. you thin by this point? No. Okay. No. I was going to say. <laughs> but I was thinner. <laughs> and he walks up. He's like beet red because he's fair skinned too. 
<laughs> and my wife, uh, after Chad walks away, she goes, probably not a good idea to be 400 pounds at the CrossFit Games. And he's just sledging across. I was like, oh my hey, God. Hey, he's in I'm way better nothing. shape now. He I'm, looks handsome. I think oh, he's yeah. like 280. I think he lost a majority doing uh, Jiu-Jitsu. Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, yeah, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, so I just like to talk shit. He's my friend. I, I'm not <laughs> hopefully. I said nothing. <laughs> Still, now he's gonna. I said it. nothing. Choke me out. But yeah, I get these guys that will apply for coaching, and their goals. <laughs> my friend, who's also my administrative assistant, will email me ahead and be like, "All right, you got a new app. He's 110 pounds, and he wants to mm. be a bodybuilder." You know. And here's the thing: you can gain a lot of muscle. Anybody can at any age. Mm-hmm. You can gain muscle. You can get leaner. You can get stronger. But are you going to be, you know, an overall competitive winner at a bodybuilding show in in a year or so? If you're 28 years old and you just started lifting and you have skinny genetics, no. And sorry, as a coach, I think I'm doing you a disservice if I sell you a bunch of lies, yeah. tell you if you just take a bunch of tests and a bunch of mm. drugs. I I don't even prescribe that. That you're going to be. You know, Mr. Olympia, you're not. For men, unfortunately, you got to start early. If, if that's your goal, you got to start early uh, because there's just too much mass to grow. For women, uh, I will say I have had girls that I've coached from, you know, string bean. And I'm like looking at them like y- 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 you could go pro. <laughs> We've been coaching for two years and I think you might have a shot. Like mm-hmm. you're, you're, so women don't have to put on that much muscle and simply just going from no training to all that new stimulus of oh, eating yeah. more protein and doing cardio, doing heavy, heavy lifting. Cause I coach my women to lift heavy mm-hmm. in all aspects, even, you know, bodybuilding style. Uh, you'd be surprised what, what can happen. But unfortunately, you know, guys, they, they got a lot more space, but there are new categories, classic physique and things like that, that they're rewarding smaller, mm. more, um, I don't want to say attainable. It's still really hard to yeah. attain. Classic physique is still like, at least at the pro level, yes. that shit's still, that's it's a lot hard. of mess. It's a lot. <laughs> you know? It is. You're talking about a, like a 5'11 guy who's like 225 shredded. Mm-hmm. 220 shredded. Yeah. It's it's difficult. The sure. genetic side of thing is a tough thing for people to deal with, but it doesn't really matter how someone got there or how they get there you still have a job to concentrate on yourself. And it's, you have to work on making yourself better. And you can't sit there and like kick yourself that you don't have the genetics of a Chris Bumstead or something right, like that. Right, because who does? No, he's one of a kind. Yeah. We haven't seen anybody come along like that, probably no. probably since Arnold. Arnold, yeah. I mean, it's been a long time. And and in our today's standards of aesthetics, I mean, he's got rounder quads than Arnold. He's mm-hmm. got yeah. a bigger frame than Arnold. He has the best physique of all time, probably. <laughs> For right now, right. yeah. I mean, I mean there's some wild. dudes coming out of Brazil that probably are like nipping mm. at his feet, but that Andrew Jack guy. Oh, I, I wish that. Okay, he did Nigeria. Classic. Now you're now, no. You I wish claim. he did classic. Holy uh, like shit. Andrew Jack. He's doing bodybuilding. He's you, too big. Yeah, he's too ninety. I know, stage. but it, oh, bro, if he two ninety, if he downsized, and he classic, wasn't even he really fought. messing with bodybuilding before, right? He was just no. jacked. He was, he was just like a strong. He's like an Instagram guy. Too. Yeah, he's doing some stuff with like Larry. That's why I first is. saw him. Is he Nigerian? I wasn't trying to claim yeah. him. Ha! Oh yes. I think. I think he's Yoruba. I think he's oh, not yeah? your child. I don't think he's your child. <laughs> <laughs> he looks, he looks nah. crazy. Yeah, Andrew um, Jack is just ridiculous, yeah. bro. Yeah, yeah I remember he's seeing him insane. lift with I'm Larry so Wheels, impressed. and he was like just lifting crazy weights. Like, yeah. who the fuck is this? I guy? never followed him before he started playing around bodybuilding. Yeah. When he won the uh, amateur, I think it was Arnold. Um, I was like, okay, this guy is not even in shape, but he looks insane. Bubbly he wasn't even shredded. Up. He said he didn't even diet. <laughs> he didn't even diet. What is uh. that? Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Uh, it's insane. I think he definitely has a shit ton of potential for yeah. potentially like Mr. Olympia. Shout out to Flex Wheeler. Flex Wheeler has been talking about yeah, him a lot. Yeah, that's his coach. Yeah. It's one of his coaches. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I mean, if he polishes his uh, his posing a little bit more, and I actually I was really impressed by this Texas show uh, routine, but <sighs> oh if he polishes God. his quarter turns and gets a little more shredded in the back because he has a, you know, Little, little bit of thick skin on his glutes. He's he could be Mr. Olympia. God damn, dude! And it's really inspiring because I'm also someone who just did two shows and I'm a pro and like I'm like I don't know if I'm like that, but yeah, hey, it came out of nowhere. Yeah, I can't. I love the idea of coming out of nowhere. I think it's awesome. That brought you family. Hope you guys are doing well. Now we. Hey, how's it? Sorry. I'm not going to whisper. <laughs> I know you guys are enjoying this content and we love talking to all these people and bringing you guys great information. So if you could help us out by hitting the like button, cause that helps the algorithm subscribe and hit the notification bell. We're going to continue reaching more people and we're going to continue helping more people. Talk to y'all later.